Hey, I don't try to do it. I think so. I have like zero stress. I just have uh, just so many things to do, man. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I might myself busy as well. I'm basically like all over the fucking place because I've been like I've been so tired of reading stuff that I'm just basically sitting with like three, four days of just emails. Just crazy amount of mist and then I want to go and get the frame and all that stuff. So I'm gonna try to do as fast as I can and then we pop around and see if we can help in any way. Yeah, I mean if you come up with something because I will finish off this shit that I'm doing now. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick shower. Uh, I'm gonna jump into the car and get the, the frame and the tapete. Because I'm gonna go to Bauhaus, so I think that they usually have uh, like frames. So, brilliant. Alright, I'll see you very soon. And if anything, just send me a text or whatever, I'll do the same. Alrighty then, ciao ciao. Ready? No, I'm never ready. Can you tell me about how this exhibition came about? It was funny, I met a rancher and uh, we started to talk about our work. I really would like to do something again. I think the last exhibition I had was in 2008, I think, 2009. So I haven't had an exhibition in 10 years. So. 20 years last time I had one in, in, in Sweden. And uh, suddenly, a couple of years later, Arantxa calls me up and I listen, I uh, found this really cool dude. Uh, they have an office space, Studio B. And um, they are willing to uh, give us the space for a full weekend. Basically, Iman mm -hmm. uh, opened this studio. So, so he asked me if I wanted to do something or if I knew anyone that wanted to do anything and I had come in my head since I met him last year. It's like we need to do something together. So the first thing I did was to call him and like come in, take all your pictures and let's do something together. I was like, yeah, yeah, bloody awesome. We have like two months to, to make everything from scratch. So it, it's all really a rancher uh, that um, really pushed it aim and uh, made it happen. The first one was this picture. This is the one that I wanted to do. So I called her and I said, could you be naked please in this elevator, mm -hmm. which I love, with my hand. Okay. And then, and then she was, and when I thought we were going to go home, she said, okay. Well, she didn't even say anything. She just wandered off. <laughs> I thought, okay, I better, I better film this or <laughs> take pictures of this. Just because and then and 
we came all the way up to the end of the elevator and she saw the stairs and just said, well, she, again, she didn't even say anything. Was, so she just know, made this she up just, herself. She was just going and I was just following her, taking pictures. <laughs> I, ha I don't know if I was or I have become a voyeur, total and absolute, and just, but not, not just a voyeur, but I, I forget that I'm there and I just get totally, <laughs> I observe what's mm. happening. Did you have an idea before? No, no. The only idea I had, the only one and only, was this. And the and the one that I had is that I wanted this elevator with someone naked in it. That's all. That's it. And that's it. The rest. The rest was a surprise. It was a happy surprise. The yes. thing <laughs> that I really like is not to retouch a thing of anything. Of yeah. Like I have not retouched anything. I've just I just. I haven't it. touched the the skin on these girls. Um, I know what some of them are gonna say because they're actresses. But they're, they're, it's rough. It's but so I nice. love the roughness. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really love the roughness. You know, you see the the, the powder yeah. on the face, but you can see the powder. Mm. Right? It's, um, I moved back to to Sweden like four years ago, at fifteen years being abroad, and most of the people I know now, they have no idea that I have been a still photographer for as a, as long as I remember. Um, they only know me as a, um, as a gaffer or as a, a light technician. So when Arancha told me that we got an exhibition space, I went through all my old work. I got archives and archives of both analog and digital footage from the last 15, 20 years. And there are a few things that I really would like to exhibit that I have not exhibited yet. No one has ever bloody seen, but something told me that, you know, what do I really want out of this exhibition? I decided that I want to do everything from scratch. Completely new footage showing who I really am behind the camera. I got a large format camera from, from England. I said, you know what, just do it. Shoot some portraits and in black and white, go old school and um, have fun with it. Yeah, bloody hell, I really made it more difficult for myself. <laughs>